Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 18th of 2020. Well, it is titled an almost eclipse of the moon. So what do we see here? Well, this is a lunar eclipse, or at least one type of lunar eclipse. And if you're used to seeing the blood red moon at a lunar eclipse, you're not seeing that here. And that's because this is what is called a penumbral lunar eclipse. Now the um, penumbra is actually a part of the Earth's shadow. Now, normally, when we see a eclipse, and we call it a total lunar eclipse, that is when the moon passes into the umbra or the darkest shadow of the Earth. And that is the point where if you're in the umbra, the sun would be completely blocked out. And from as seen from the moon. So the moon would be looking uh, towards the Earth, the Earth would pass in front of the sun completely blocking it out. When you're in the penumbra, then only part of the sun is blocked out. So some sunlight is still reaching the moon. And that is why we still see the moon here and we don't get that blood red color. However, if you watch this and take a look at this towards the central portions, you can see how the coloring of the moon changes a little bit and gets a little bit darker. So it is passing through shadow. And in fact, it's very close to the umbra. The umbra would be just below this at the central portion of the image. So it's very close to at least being a partial lunar eclipse, but did not quite make it. Now lunar eclipses do occur uh, quite often. And in fact, there's going to be four of them this year, but they will all be penumbral eclipses like this. So we are not going to have a total eclipse of the moon this year, although they will be coming again in the future as they do occur on a regular basis. Just in this case for this year, we're not going to have a case where the sun where the moon goes directly into the deepest part of the Earth's shadow. But you can see here in this image, uh, the moon itself, of course, and you can see the little bit of the Earth's shadow right down below right down below the images of the moon again, especially towards the central portion here, where we can see that. So this eclipse that occurred just over a week ago was the first of a number of lunar eclipses that we will have. But again, no deep lunar total lunar eclipses for this year. We will have to wait until next year to be able to have a nice uh, full total lunar eclipse. So that was our picture of the day for January the 18th of 2020. It was titled an almost eclipse of the moon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be cosmic crustacean. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.